All right. So here's the next episode in how to start Bitcoin and cryptocurrency investing. The quickest and easiest way to get into cryptocurrency investing with little to no money. So uh, what I'm going to be covering on this episode is how to get an asset backed loan with no income, no credit check and no ID needed. So this would be for people who already have cryptocurrency and uh, they're looking to cash out um, or they are looking to uh, spend some money temporarily and they don't want to sell their Bitcoin or they don't want to sell their Ethereum. Hey, what's up? I'm sharing the knowledge right now. I'm live on YouTube and on IG. So uh, yeah, check me out on GSK Wealth Builders. So yeah, we're going to go over how to get an asset back loan using your crypto. So the outline of uh, the episode is the overall lending, uh, the overall lending market, shopping for a crypto loan and the guidelines. So just a review um, of the last video that I did, how to get started in Bitcoin and crypto. By now, you should have set up a Coinbase account or a CoinSquare account in Canada. That's how you're going to do your fiat or dollars to Bitcoin on ramp and off ramp. So you're going to load um, money onto your Coinbase account or your CoinSquare account. Then you can buy crypto and Ethereum and then you can move it around uh, the Internet. So then after that, you can go on Coinbase Learn and they'll actually pay you uh, to learn about cryptocurrency. So you can make around uh, you can make around 50 bucks um, just learning how to use the different platforms. And then the third way uh, for people who are in a big city, um, you can order order a helium miner from Emirate.io if you want it for free. Um, there's an income sharing agreement so you can actually get the miner for free and then. Um, if you want to purchase the miner, it might take a few months. And if you want to keep all of your profits, you can purchase the miner from helium.com. Um, and you can keep 100% of the profits. So then number four, um, just bookmark the following sites. So CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, ICO Drops, and you can follow me on uh, Twitter and IG because I post a lot about that. So um, the crypto lending market. So right now, um, there's a new way to uh, bank. And it's decentralized finance, so you can actually bank online um, using your Bitcoin or your Ethereum or any other coin that you have. And they will um, they will ask you to put up that Bitcoin or crypto as collateral. And then what you'll do is uh, ask for a certain portion of that amount. So say you put up one Bitcoin, which today is $50,000, and you wanted to buy a car, but you didn't want to sell your Bitcoin yet because you think it's going to go higher. What you can do is you can go on these lending platforms where you lock up your Bitcoin in a smart contract so you still have control of it and then you can borrow from you can borrow from um, one of these platforms and use that money in, in the real world, right? So where to look for these platforms is DeFiPulse.com and DeFiRate.com slash borrow. So just an overview of the DeFi lending market, um, why it why it's unique. So it's permissionless. So anyone can lend their assets across the port protocols to anyone, uh, and you can make cash flow. It's automated, so it's not human based. It's smart contract based. So all you're following is the parameters that are programmed on the system, and then it's non custodial. So um, virtually all DeFi lending protocols do not require the users to transfer the ownership of their assets, and uh, that means you can come as you go and as you please. So it's also secure. Uh, many of these protocols have billions of dollars on them. They've been rig rigorously tested and uh, you're not going to have any issues on them. So um, they're dynamic. Most of the protocols offer variable interest rates, which are automatically adjusted relative to the supply and demand of the assets and it's stress free. Um, so your interest earned from lending is collected automatically if you're lending on the platform and there's no maintenance needed. So this is the first website that you would go to um, to learn about DeFi. So it's DeFi Pulse, DeFi Pulse dot, uh, dot com. And as you can see right now, there's $43 billion being locked up on the website. 
um, MakerDAO is 16% of that. So just go to DeFiPulse.com and you can see how big the market is. When I uh, when I started in crypto um, DeFi, it was around like four billion, and that was a few months ago, right? And you can see in January it was 15 billion, and it's grown to 45 billion. Um, halfway through the year, it'll be like 100 billion. So lending. Um, so if you want to find the platforms where you can borrow against your Bitcoin or Ethereum, um, you want to go on DeFi Pulse, and then you're going to click on lending, and it's going to show you where the top um, the top places to go. So number one is MakerDAO, number two is Compound, and number three is Ave. So I'm going to show you um, MakerDAO and Compound today. Uh, a second website would be DeFiRate.com, where you can compare interest rates. So from here, um, if you had some Ethereum that you wanted to uh, borrow against, the annual interest rate would be um, 2.86% on Compound, but on Ave, it's 0.16%. So that's an unbelievable interest rate. You can't get interest rates like that in the real world. So this is what the Compound site is going to look like. Um, they have $2 billion of USDC earning 5% um, per year in interest. And this is what the Compound app looks like. So if you have your coins, you have, you know, basic attention token, Compound, Uniswap, DAI. Um, this is what they're going to say is the rates. So these rates change. So Ether, 2.86%. So you can put your Ether in a contract and for 2.86%, um, you can borrow against that ether to do whatever you want. And these contracts, you can, it's for as long as you want. So you do have to pay interest, but you can borrow the money for as long as you want. So the MakerDAO platform looks like this. Um, when you go on there, you're going to click on the ecosystem and then you're going to go on borrow and you can borrow from the platform. So what the first step you do is when you're on MakerDAO, it's going to ask you to set up a vault. The cost to set up a vault right now is around $250 because of the Ethereum uh, fees. However, in July, they're going to change the fees and it should be going down significantly. It shouldn't be more than 50 bucks to set up these vaults, right? So that's like your cost of doing business, but you only have to set it up one time. So on this example, um, this is from a while ago. So if you put two Ethereum when it was $150, I think per ETH, yeah, $156 an ETH. Um, they would let you borrow 50% um, of that, right? So this person put, I want to take $100 out of that Ethereum, and then it shows your collateralization rate, which is 300%. If Ethereum was to drop 50% and your collateralization rate was low, they would tell you to either deposit more Ethereum or they would cash it out to make sure that they don't lose. Right. So um, there were some people in the in the dip. They just didn't pay back their loans because they had more money in their pocket than what their Ethereum was worth. So um, and the stabilization fee is the interest rate. So the annual interest rate on this loan is only half a percent. So right now, Ethereum is around what, eighteen hundred dollars. So you could deposit uh, one Ethereum for eighteen hundred. And I think you can borrow from. 0.16% to 5%, depending on the platform that you're using. Um, so Oasis app, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see your deposit of Ethereum, and then you're going to see the debt that you've asked for. And you can also generate more debt if you want, if you needed to use it. And these loans, unlimited amount of time because the Ethereum is locked in there, right? So um, if you want to pay it off in five years, you want to pay it off in 10 years, it's up to you as long as you're up for paying the interest rates. So yeah, that completes uh, crypto banking, decentralized loans. Um, subscribe for some more videos. I'm going to be doing also probably a video, a video a day for the next 30 days, just going over all of the things that I know in crypto and what's going on. So um, there'll be more to come. And then this is just a recap. Uh, for historical purposes of what the prices are. So Bitcoin is currently $56,500. We got ETH at $1,700. Uh, Binance coin, $250. Uh, Uniswap is just a good coin that I like, uh, $29. So that is just a historical snapshot. And that's all we got for today.